to mind Revelations chapter 1 Revelations chapter 1 chapter 1 from verse 17 this is Jesus speaking hallelujah he said fear not I am the first and the last I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and of death. Hallelujah. Don't take my word for it. That's Jesus himself speaking. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. We're going to read from verse 1. This is Paul writing. He says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, wherein you stand, by which also ye are saved. For if we keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. See, there is a tendency for us to forget about this great salvation but Paul said if you keep this in memory something's going to happen he says for I delivered unto you first of all that which I received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to scriptures and that he was seen of Cephas of, of Peter then of the twelve after that he was seen of above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain un unto this present, but some have fallen asleep or some have died. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was in me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believe. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection from the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then Christ, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith also in vain. Ye and we have found false witness of God, because we have testified of God that he raised Christ up, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised and if Christ be not raised your faith is in vain ye are yet in your sins 
then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. In verse 19 it says if in this life only we have hope in Christ we have all men most miserable why did I read these scriptures I read the scriptures because there's a tendency for us in this world to take for granted the work that Jesus did on the cross of Calvary there's a tendency for us to undermine the sacrifice that Jesus Christ made on the cross of Calvary there is a tendency for us to devalue the person of Jesus and Paul is saying listen I preach a gospel to you about the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ and I'm trying to tell you that he is alive and he is well and Paul talked about the other side he says if Jesus did not resurrect from the dead we are of all men most miserable in fact our gathering this morning will be a total waste of time and I don't know what you came into this service with but I'm here to announce to you that God in Jesus is alive and is here to resurrect every dead thing, every dry bone, every issue that you are facing in your life. This is not about gimmicks. This Jesus that was once dead is now alive. And guess what, brethren? He is here this afternoon. And I want you all right now not to look at me but I want us to celebrate this King of Kings, this Lord of Lords, this mighty one, this great I am, the Lord Almighty, Lord Jesus. Come on, let's worship him. Lift up your voices and celebrate him. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, 45, that we have the victory in Jesus. I don't know what war you've been fighting all week, but on this Easter morning, I've come to announce to you that God of the God of the resurrection is here. The God of the resurrection is here. And I'm here to celebrate him this morning. Brothers and sisters, let's lift up our voices. Let's celebrate him. Let's honor him. Let's honor our king. Let's honor our king. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor Jesus. We honor our King. We are here today not to celebrate any man or woman. We are here to celebrate you. We thank you for the work that you did for us on Calvary. Oh yes, even many people right now try to disprove that you rose up. But Lord, we know you rose up. We believe we rose up. You rose up because we see it every day in our lives. And this service will just come to celebrate you. We give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Death has lost his victory. It's been denied. Jesus lives forever. He's alive. He's alive. He's the Alpha and Omega. The first and last is He. The power of sin is broken. We have perfect liberty. Death has lost its victory, and the grave has been denied. Jesus lives forever. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. walk around to two or three people and just shake their hand hug them and say welcome Jesus is alive hallelujah hallelujah
Amen. Ah. Uh. Amen. Please, you may be seated. Well, hallelujah. Good afternoon or good morning and welcome to this special Easter service. Hallelujah. Are we excited to be God's house today? Yeah. Wow, very excited. Welcome to this beautiful, beautiful Easter morning. Um, it's like the resurrection of Jesus brought out the sun. Hallelujah. And uh, the, the spring has resurrected. Hallelujah. <laughs> We're experiencing spring. But welcome everybody to this uh, special service. We're here to celebrate our king. Amen. We're here to celebrate his resurrection. We're here to celebrate his grace and his power. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, Jesus is legit. Say, don't let anyone fool you. Say, Jesus is legit. Tell them again. Say, hunt them and tell them. Say, Jesus is the real deal. Yeah, say, don't let anyone fool you. Yeah, Jesus is the real deal. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, we're here to celebrate him. I just wanted to use this opportunity to uh, welcome everyone uh, that is worshiping with us on this Sunday service. I'm trying to figure out my pointer here. Oh, there we go. Yes, welcome everyone to this uh, special, special Easter service. We are so delighted to have you here, especially those that are worshiping with us uh, for the first time. This is City Light International Church. Um, God called us here uh, to be a church that raises lights and people of influence in our community. Um, the purpose of City Light really is to help everybody discover their purpose in life and to assist or to work with them so that they can uh, make a difference uh, in, in their spheres of influence. I know those are big terms, but basically what we want to do at City Light is to help you not only discover your purpose, but help you fulfill that purpose. We believe that everybody was created to do or to be something. God didn't just create us just to be in existence. He created you and I for a purpose. And at City Light, that's what God has commissioned us to do. Help you discover your purpose and help you live your best life now. Hallelujah. So once again, welcome to all our, our members, um, our visitors, I'm sorry, and those that are worshiping with us for the first time. For our guests, you would have been given by the ushers a connection card. It's a little blue or white uh, paper strip. Please, we'd like you to fill out the information in the card. Put your name and your address and all vital information so that we can contact you after the service. Um, after the service, we would like to also... Um, just visit with you briefly um, at the green room behind us here just to talk to you, get to know you a little better and show you, share some information with you. Once again, you are welcome to City Light Church and uh, we know that as you've come, God will bless you uh, richly in Jesus' name. Say amen to that. We want to welcome our internet audience. Welcome to City Light International Church. We pray that as you're watching and viewing us, God will visit you. Happy Easter to you. And we pray that you will receive that which God has in store for you this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. So I just want to quickly give some announcements. At City Light Church, we uh, offer a lot of opportunities for service. There's service within the church and also service outside of the church. And um, one of the opportunities that we have to help everyone you know, fulfill their purpose is through this um, small group meetings we have every week. Uh, the group uh, meetings, are, we call it Club God Quest or Club GQ for short. And Club GQ basically is just a, a meeting of um, individuals in the Chicago area. We have about nine locations. And we meet in an informal setting to just fellowship, share the word of God, and grow together. You know, God wants us to come together and, and improve ourselves and, and he wants us to, to, to grow and be discipled. And so we have this opportunity for you to connect with one another. So um, if you're here and you would like to participate in the GQs or you're a member and you haven't participated, we'd like to encourage you to do so. Hallelujah. Uh, Nick Center continues Nick Center stands for nurturing inner city kids this is again another opportunity for us to serve outside the community 
basically City Light International Church has partnered with the Jackie Robinson Elementary School and we go there uh, once a week to um, offer mentoring and tutoring service. We took a break last week because of the spring break but we're starting again this week. Uh, we, we go there at, um, we go there every Wednesday from 3 o'clock to from 3 30 to, to 5 o'clock and we just have a wonderful wonderful time with the children. I'd like to just encourage everyone to take advantage of this opportunity. God said to us as a church that we, we are to reach out to the least of these. That is our mandate here and we'll continue to do this as, as God gives us strength. If you're interested in volunteering, kindly see uh, Peace or Emily after the service. You can check um, us out at www.nickcenter.org www.nickcenter.org to get information on the Nick Center. Um, this week we're going to begin by the grace of God the kids and teens explosion I, I didn't get any excitement from you I said this week <coughs> hallelujah yeah what's this again the emphasis God has been giving us for the last year or so is to focus on the next generation and as City Light we have opportunities for, for people to serve and opportunities for us to connect with the young kids so what is the kids and teens explosion it's basically one service every week. We come here for high impact, high energy ministrations to our kids and teenagers in the church and also out, outside of the church. It's an outreach to the community and it's going to be every Wednesday. Um, it's going to be powerful. We see this place packed. We see all our kids, you know, influenced and impacted for Jesus. I mean, you know, the idea is to raise children that will have the light of God in their lives and that will use that light to influence society. Hallelujah. Not kids that will go around shooting people. Not kids that will go around harming people. This is the way. Listen, we need to catch them while they are young. Hallelujah. We, we, you can't just keep complaining about what's going out out there if we're not doing anything at the ground level, at the foundation level. So this is the, this is the strategy that God has given us and it's going to be done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So on Wednesday, we're going to start and we're going to go around. We're going to do all the things that we need to do to get the kids here and we're going to teach them the word of God and teach them how to be successful in life. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. Um. Leading Lights uh, continues this April 27th on a Sunday with Pastor Lion. Basically, what is the Leading Lights uh, training? See, at City Light, we have opportunities for growth and spiritual development. There are actually four classes that we have for your spiritual edification and growth. The first one is the foundation school. It's not there. And basically, that helps you build a solid foundation in your work with God. You have your identity school, which helps you to know uh, who you are. And know that you're not just based on what you you're not your identity is not based on what you do your identity is based on who god says you are hallelujah then we have discovery school that helps helps you to know why you exist why are you here and then finally we have the leadership or the leading light school which helps you implement your your purpose and your vision in life i have to say that this leading light training with pastor land is a very very vital class that I, I will recommend to everyone here because it not only helps you identify who you are in Christ or who you are, who God has called you to be, but also helps you to implement um, all the things that God has called you to do. Hallelujah. And so there's a, uh, there's a follow-up um, class on the 27th with those that already started. Um, and right now we're taking registrations for those that qualify uh, for the next module that will begin in May. So what are the qualifications? Well, you have to go through all the other foundation, the other uh, leader, uh, growth and development classes I mentioned, like your foundation school, identity school, and discovery school. And don't worry, you, we can wrap that up quickly um, so that you can participate in the main module. But this is a very, very important class that you don't want to miss. If you need more information about it, you can see me after the service. The floor has been completed. <laughs> You should be more excited than that. The floor, hallelujah. Okay, for those of you that don't know, we've been having a renovation project at City Light for a, for a while now. And we've been focusing for the last month, of, no, for the last month, for the last three to four months, we've been focusing on the renovation of our basement. I have a lot of before and after pictures. 
you wouldn't believe what that place downstairs looked like maybe some two three months ago but thank god you can go take a look at it for yourself it's really looking pow wow bam hallelujah it's looking awesome and i want to give god all the glory all the honor and all the power hallelujah glory to god thank special thanks to everyone your contribution your your time all that stuff we, we, we want to just thank you it's not we're not over yet it's not over yet we're still working and the, the goal the reason why we want to get this done is so that our kids can have a place to play they can have a place for their, their lessons they can have a place for the services and we're so grateful that that's completed hallelujah so let's give God praise for that amen so what's the next step for the building project? Right now we're moving on to the doors. We're going to start changing. We want to change all the doors downstairs. We're putting on baseboards right now, trimmings on the floor. And then we want to look at interior decorating. So the work is not yet done. I want to encourage you. This is again another opportunity for service. If anyone is gifted, talented in these areas, maybe you're a carpenter or you do some work at home and you want to, or you want to learn, you know, <laughs> you can see Joe after the service and he'll put you through on what, the, what's, what needs to be done with regards to the basement. But then if you are into interior decorating and you have that gift, because that's where we are at now, please you can wait and you can uh, see Pastor Debo after the service as well. So that's pretty much where we are. We're going to aesthetics right now. We still need everybody's um, a participation. Hallelujah. Again, don't forget to check us out online. We are online, www.thecitylight.org. We are on Facebook, like us on Facebook, and we are also on Twitter. And if you are in the Chicago neighborhood, we are on 824 East 43rd Street, Chicago. Hallelujah. So sit back, relax, enjoy the service, and most of all, just, just know that Jesus is here, and he is here to meet your needs. God bless you all. Enjoy your service. We're talking about Easter. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I'm all about Easter, and I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you excited to see me? Oh, it's not that we're not excited to see you. Of course, we're excited to see you. Of, if it's not, it's just that that's you're not really what Easter's all about. I'm not. No, and you're not, and that's what we're just talking about. It's all right here. Easter is about the, 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 the disciples getting the great, the, the best surprise ever on the first day. Let me guess. Let me guess. I know. I know. A super-sized, giant, extravagant Easter basket that is this high that holds all kinds of candy. No? No. no. There's so much more. Don't now, don't get us wrong. We like candy. It's just that if that's all Easter is about, then it's pretty much an empty holiday. If it's not about me, if it's not about candy, then I'm lost. Exactly. exactly. Easter's about Jesus rising, rising from the dead. And Jesus coming to earth to seek and save the lost. That, and that's what Easter is all about. Let, now, let's go talk about this some more. Andrew tells us the real meaning. Good morning, church. My name is Angel Olua Ajigani. I'm going to read a poem called Easter. Easter means eternal life. A perfect God demands a perfect justice. He cannot let us get away with sin. 
We use God's gift of our free will to trespass, so heaven's gates were closed. We couldn't get in. Our sin required our blood a sacrifice to atone for all the wrong that we had done. But I love them, cried our Father, filled with sorrow. I'll send my only son to be the one. Good Friday marks the slaying of our Jesus, the unblemished lamb, the perfect sacrifice. He took our guilt and blame upon himself so we could be with him in paradise. On Easter morning, he came back from death. He vanished from the tomb, the empty grave. His resurrection means eternal life. For us, the ones he came to earth to save, this summarizes all the Easter stories. And because of it, we'll be with him in glory. Thank you. This is what the Bible tells us about Easter. The Bible tells me that Easter is about Jesus coming to seek, save, and serve the law. The Bible tells me that Jesus came to save our sins and riches and, and, and die for us. Jesus didn't give up on God, even though he had, he had to take the pain and sickness of the world. Easter means Jesus died, he's alive, he reigns forevermore. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Can we give it up one more time for our children? Great job. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we all excited? Happy Easter. Do we all know that Jesus has done it all? If you know he's done it all, can you jump up and shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's clap our hands, everyone. God. Sorry, one second. From the miry clay, Almighty, forever, I will never be the same. Cause you came near from the everlasting to the world we live, the Father's only Son. Let's take it again one more time, my Savior, Redeemer. Lifting me from the mighty, almighty, almighty forever. forever. I will never be the same because you came here from the everlasting to the world we live. The Father's only Son.
Let's lift our hands and give Jesus praise. Let's give him praise. Everyone lift your hands and praise him who is risen. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. You came from heaven to earth to show the way from the earth to the cross.
for this glorious afternoon. Thank you for this glorious day. Thank you for this wonderful commemoration of this great event, this great sacrifice, the great victory that ensured our victory and our inheritance of eternal life. Thank you, Lord, for everything that Easter means to us. We appreciate you for your sacrifice on the cross. Thank you for your power that made sure it wasn't permanent. Thank you for the resurrection. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for being a high priest. Thank you for everything. Today as we celebrate you, we ask you to continue to bless people in this service. Spirit of God, I ask you to just come saturate everywhere. And with this utterance of mine, let there be a communication of grace to everyone here. Let your purpose for today be accomplished. Help us to better ref reflect that resurrection power. I ask you for utterance. I ask you for boldness. I ask you for directions and the orchestration of my entire being. Let me speak and let me glorify you. Let me fulfill the divine purpose of bringing you glory and spreading your glory through everyone here that hears this and through everyone who is watching on the internet and for all those that will come in contact with this service in one way or the other. Let the hurt be filled.